Frank, you've had a little bit of time to reflect about the season after the loss to Houston last week. What are some of your key takeaways after your full, first full season in charge? I felt that, uh, you know, there were uh, a lot of positives, obviously. You know, I mean, just, you know, the ability, you know, ability for us to get back in the playoffs. Um, 17 games, 57 points, uh, very close to some of the goals that uh, we had set as a, as a group from the beginning of the season. Um, you know, our home record, you know, making this uh, Toyota Park obviously a, a difficult place uh, for teams to come and, uh, and play against us. As a coach, you never stop learning, uh, you never stop growing. Uh, what did you learn about yourself as a, as a coach and a manager this season? No, no, you're right. I mean, I think that you come with the mentality that uh, uh, you try to get better uh, every day, every game. And, you know, I think that, you know, for me that, you know, we, we work very hard preparing for a game. You go in with a, with a game plan. And I think it's very important that uh, um, when the game is all said and done, that you have the ability now to uh, go back and, and and watch those games as many times as you possibly can. Just really learn from them, you know, and, and really see was the game plan going in, was it the right one, what we could have done better. And I think those are the things that, you know, I do all the time and we do as a staff because I think that gives us the ability to learn. Is there one thing that you were especially proud of, you know, the perhaps the, the home record at Toyota Park? Yeah, I mean, I think the, 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 the ability for the team, you know, I mean, to, you know, come back and have that kind of uh, character and determination in, in, in games or moments where we've been behind and to see a team that, you know, doesn't, never gives up. Uh, I think those are a lot of wonderful moments, but, you know, some moments I think that you look back and you just, you know, we're not so good that they make you wake up throughout the night and, you know, put the tapes back on and keep working to become better. I think that's what it's all about, good moments, bad moments. You talk a lot about being thankful, and the club celebrated its 15th year anniversary this year. Uh, you were part of the inaugural team in 1998. You've seen soccer grow and flourish in the city of Chicago. What are you looking forward to for next season? The consistency. You know, obviously, you know, the one thing we talked about a lot in the beginning of the season is playoffs. We need to be there, you know, and I think that everyone worked very hard to get there. Obviously, once we were there, the goals changed, you know, because now you put yourself in a position where uh, you want to win a championship because that's what it's all about. Obviously, we go into the season and I think the things are, you know, we want to win the Open Cup, you know, we want to be in the playoffs, we want to win the championship, you know, Supporter Shield, all those, you know, big picture goals are there and that's what we work very hard to achieve every day and we want to make sure that we bring players with that attitude, you know, that kind of drive guys are willing to make the sacrifices throughout the year for for the success of the team you know and I think we brought uh, a lot of good pieces you know and now it's just making sure that we work uh, just as hard you know uh, and making the right decisions and making the right choices with the players that we bring in and feel the same way so we can, can you know that continuity can continue and help us take the next step.